Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever, the scepter of thy kingdom is a right scepter. In his goodness and mercy, the Creator gave the tribes of Native American nobility, humility, and wisdom. The riches of wealth are nothing compared to wisdom, and the children of Native America possess the wisdom of walking in the ancient ways of God, with justice and judgment. So shall we prosper, the righteous children of Native America shall inherit the land, and dwell therein forever. The mouth of the righteous speaks wisdom, and his tongue talks of judgment. The law of his God is in his heart, none of his steps shall slide. O Great Spirit, make this land peaceful, and keep Native America and our children from the ways of Rome. You know what lies within the hearts, it is not the eyes that go blind, but it is the hearts, within the chests, that go blind. This is April Shaltais, using the computer to generate this message. This is Rome, and they decided to put me down. I survived, but you might not, if you fall into their trap. There is a secret out there, that they don't want you to know. Hypnosis is being used against you daily, and a hypnotist can control you. They only need to grab a hold of you, and now they control you from a distance. They can even hold conversations with you on the astral plane, which some people call the realm of thought, or the spirit realm. The well-known science of the mind author Joseph Murphy calls it the subconscious mind. Stay away from astral plane conversations. God does not talk to you. He talked with Moses, and gave Moses his law. God does not crack jokes or hold conversations with you. That's a human, impersonating a deity on the astral plane, but it's really a human with bad breath and smelly feet. These people are into genocide, and they are the same people who practiced genocide against Jews, Africans, Native Americans, and more. Don't have conversations on the astral plane. Stay in God's word. The scriptures say, commit no trespass against the God of Israel. Worship none but the one true God, who is Yahweh, Allah, the Most High, and associate nothing with him. Do not give credit to any but to the mighty God who saves you. Do not set someone or something up as his equals, for none equal him. Without him, you have no savior, and do not take others as lords besides the God of eternity. This is April Shaltais, using the computer to generate this message. Native Americans were given these lands by covenant from the Lord, but they were invaded by Rome, which had already taken over Europe. Rome is into conquest and killing. My two brothers are dead and so is my niece. Then Rome came after me, too. This is Rome, and they decided to put me down. They don't need a reason, but I am an unmarried virgin past 50. I survived, but many Native Americans did not. Rome is still here. Rome crucified Christ and created Christianity to cover up the genocide of Jews, Africans, Muslims, Russians, Irish, Celts, Japanese, Chinese, Aborigines, Vietnamese, Koreans, Hmong, Hawaiians, Eskimos, Native Americans, and more. Mexicans are dying on the border every day. Never, never forget. Never. The scriptures say, this is the narrative of truth. There is no God but Yahweh, Allah, the Most High. He is the mighty, the wise. O people of the book, worship none but him. This is April Shaltais. In the 1800s, the son of a local Shoshone chief was wrongly accused of stealing a horse and hanged, even though everyone knew he was innocent. The boy was accused of stealing a horse near Summit Creek, now Smithfield Udor, but he was only fishing. Robert Thornley, a prominent resident of Summit Creek, knew the boy was innocent, and testified in his defense. But the Shoshone boy got no justice. The locals convicted him and hanged him, even though it was the Merring family that likely had the horse the entire time. The boy's name was recorded as Pugwini, but Pugwini is the Shoshone word for fish, so the boy may have been maintaining his innocence. They killed him anyway. Native Americans were frequently subjected to injustice, and could not even testify in court against whites. There's a forgotten genocide, right here in America. Millions of Native Americans were murdered, on their native lands. It was genocide. Never, never forget. We need justice. Return these lands to the Native American tribes. All of them. The scriptures say, Behold, the heaven and the heaven of heavens is the Lord's I God, the earth also, with all that therein is, the servants of God send the fertilizing winds, and send down water from the sky, and give it to you to drink, and you are not the ones who store it, it is we who give life and cause death, and we are the inheritors, 